Maybe that'll make it better. No, it's cool. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this real quick though. All right, guys. So, real quick, we're gonna go through a quick live stream or walkthrough for you. We are currently here at White Hill Mansion. Uh, this here is the main room. Come out here. Where's the light for the basement there, Kevin? Because you, I think we both know I'm not walking down there without the light. So you're telling me you want to go there by yourself? No, come on down with us, Kevin. <laughs> All right, guys. Kevin's gonna go ahead and turn the light on when I get down there. That way you guys can kind of see, but kind of like the way the lights are set up. It's kind of set. In Set the mood a bit. Behind the bar? Okay. Just so I know. Alright guys, so this area here, we are down in the basement, which is also known as the one and only speakeasy. Anybody need so anybody who doesn't know what a speak oh sorry, my phone keeps sliding around. Anybody who doesn't know what a speakeasy is, it is basically where a little secret hidden area where they would have drinks and out like partying. Alcohol was served down here during the times of when the alcohol was prohibit prohibited. So you got the speakeasy. Anybody who hasn't been to White Hill Mansion before, you definitely should come check it out. It is located in Fieldsboro, New Jersey. We will have a ton of dates for it next year for sure. Oh, thank you, spirits, for letting us come back here. Jesus. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to go in here. Back here. There's a spot. I do believe, right? It's through there, isn't it? Yeah, it's through there. So past that spot there, where you can see the light, I think there's a sign there. That is um, a way out to down by the river, where they would actually locate and bring in, ooh, bring in the alcohol. And sneak it in here, because they're in the times. What year was that actually, Kevin? Can you remind me? The speakeasy? Yeah, like when it was time for where they couldn't have alcohol. 1920s. 20s, 1920s era. Oh, I don't know why I didn't know that actually. So. But it's yep. blocked off now. Yeah, I was gonna say, we can't go back there or nothing like that. But it is kind of cool to know, kind of like see where, um, Kind of step back into time a little bit and see where they had to sneak things in through. Isn't it like this area? I, from what I understand, if you come back here, guys, there's usually, you can kind of have a little visitor back here. From what I understand. Somebody usually kind of hides and plays hide and seek. So. Uh, Gina Marie. Gina Maria. This is White Hill Mansion and it is located in Fieldsboro, New Jersey. All right, we'll go back upstairs and we'll go check out the upstairs real quick. Yeah. I, kinda, I like those candles like that. It's kind of creepy. And I'm like nervous to come back down, but it's, that was a spot. That table over there. Yes, yeah, that's the area. That's the one where it's like, a t like with the table's like most active, isn't it? Yeah, and somebody passed away here. Oh, at, at okay. some point. Either murdered or not really sure, but. Yeah. So there was a murder or somebody just passed away on their own. That was over by that area. And typically that table over there is super active from what I remember. You could probably send K2s on there and they go off, REM pods go off. Um, all right, and then we'll go ahead and go upstairs. Check that out. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Now we're going upstairs, guys. Right, what is this, the first or second level? Second level. All right. Hi, right, Sean. Currently, we are located at White Hill Mansion, Fieldsboro, New Jersey. Oh, 
Oh, don't worry, Nina. There's going to be another one strictly for Patreon members. At 9 o'clock tonight, there will be four live streams that will be going on. If you are a member of Patreon, make sure to tune in to the Dark Side group page for the live streams that we will be doing later during group sessions. If you are not a Patreon member, I highly recommend that you go ahead and sign up for that. I used to be a member. Yes, that's right, Kevin. Actually, uh, that's right. You were a member. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we hired him, and now he's even better. It's totally <laughs> worth it. <laughs> it is worth it. You get a lot of cool accesses. Not only that, you get your own personal discount code that is has access for the tickets. Um, you get a discount on tickets. You also get discounts on anything GHU related, so like merch. Uh, this is a very well-known bathroom, huh? Bloody bathtub. So this room here is known as the bloody bathtub room. From what I understand, people have sat in this tub. They feel people touching them. Dowsing rods are phenomenal in this tub. Uh, senses are really good in this room as well. So. Gina Marie, oh yeah, I'm sure a couple children have passed away here. This used to be people's homes. I mean, at one point it was a mansion. I think at another point they ended up turning it into a German restaurant, right? Yeah. Um, and then they got the building back and basically made it into the historical side to keep it up and keep the history going within it. Um, so a lot of families have lived here. Um, I think what was... This one right here? The furthest away from all the rooms where they would stay at. So this guy's is this known as the sick room then. <laughs> we were getting sweared out constantly in here last night. In here? Yeah. Damn. I'm sorry that you, you know, that you, you don't feel well. I'm sure you probably get annoyed people coming and bothering you and all you want to do is just rest. I hope you feel better. Shada, yes. All of our events are overnight events. Uh, they are not actual sleepover events, though. Um, unless otherwise, otherwise stated sleepover events. So typically a lot of our events are either from like 8. Does this wrap around, Kevin? Uh, to the left. To the left? Okay. Ah, cool. So um, a lot of our events are typically from like 8.30 to about 4, sometimes 5. Um, sometimes our events start at 7.00. Sometimes they run till about 6 a.m. There, We do have events for where you can sleep over and stay the night in the location. Uh, make sure to keep an eye out for those. I do believe one of them is Ashmore Estates. Another one is uh, Balladary, uh, the Shanley Hotel, um, and the attic, right? Upstairs. All right, guys, so we're going to go up to the attic. Right. So, this is the. Uh, I got a really light head actually walking in here. Yeah. Yes, like that last step almost, yeah. right? Okay. So, the guys, this is the edit. Just walking up here just now, Kevin and I both felt super lightheaded. Like we're about to pass out actually taking that last step. So, that's interesting. Earlier, he actually said when he was setting up inside. I was standing outside, he said that he heard a, uh, a little boy or a child? A little girl. A little girl say, mom? Yeah, or, like, like, like yeah. in desperation. So it's kind of sad, he heard a child calling out for his mom. Uh, and children, this is the children's room coming up. Oh, this one right here? This is their playroom. Alright, so this here, this is known as the children's room. This is basically where they would stay. Their playroom, they play with some toys. Uh, oh, there they are. I was gonna say, I thought there was, used to always be toys up in here. So they got some dolls, things like that. Uh, yes, a girl, Gina. It was a little girl calling out for her mom, and what he said what sounded like desperation. Is this, isn't this the bordello over here? Yeah, it's Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and sit down. So not only does it have a speakeasy, it also has a bordello. 
Nothing on here as well. Yeah, I know. I was like, I forgot how small that was. I was like, oh man, I'm definitely gonna hit myself for trip. So, there's that. Oh, okay, I thought that was a paint like peeling. I was like, wow, that's interesting. It looks like a little boy with a sailor's hat. <laughs> I was gonna say that's really fucking good for me peeling like that. Damn. So here's some stuff in here. Stacy's. Are these, what are the names on here? Suzanne was one of the kids here. Stacy was one of the kids here. Oh. I see Crystal, I, I've never heard of Crystal or Casey. But I know of Susan, Stacy, and Grace. They were definitely the Fields kids. Okay. And at one point, wasn't it known as like the Fields Mansion or something like that mm -hmm. too? Yeah. They actually named the town after the Fields. Fields, family. right? Okay, yeah. I was, just, I was trying to um, read a little bit on it before I came. I was trying to find a podcast, so I couldn't find one. <laughs> Uh, so, that's a cistern. This is a cistern. Yeah. What is that exactly? Uh, I guess that's where they got their water from. Oh, okay. I do believe they get activity here, though, too. Oh, correct? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah, I don't think there's water in there now, but at some point there was. Yeah. Absolutely, Jackie. You're welcome. There's a big belly. I hear meat packing. So Tabitha says there's a big man walking around with us. He's got a big belly. She says that she keeps hearing meat packing. Okay. All right. We'll take that into consideration and we'll test it out tonight with the investigation and see if he was. We'll talk about him and see if he was following us around. Oh God. Jesus, I really forget how small this face is. You look like you couldn't fit through for a second. I thought I was gonna have to help you out. All right, guys. So again. We'll go downstairs and I'll actually go outside so you guys can go ahead and see what the outside of the place looks like. But yeah, so just that was just a quick tour of White Hill Mansion. Highly recommend that you guys come. Kevin was telling me last night that the activity was insane. Um, and we are going to be testing all of that out tonight with some more investigations. We're going to be talking to the spirits here. So make sure if you're a Patreon member to tune in to the Patreon page on Facebook. If you're not a Patreon member, I highly recommend that you sign up. Um, otherwise, you're going to be missing out on a lot of cool stuff. So again, White Hill Mansion. Actually, what's this over here? Hey, this, this is another front room here for you guys before I walk outside and end this. So again... You can go onto our site, ghosthuntsusa.com, and you can look up White Hill Mansion, book your tickets. Or, if getting out for you is hard, but you still want to ghost hunt and see cool stuff like this and do investigations, that's where I would recommend signing up for our Patreon membership. From there, you'd be able to get your own discount code, and from there, you are also able to Stay in touch with a lot of the live streams that we do and come hang out with us virtually. So again, we are here at White Hill Mansion. Make sure you guys sign up. If you're a Patreon member, come back at nine, nine o'clock on the private group page. Come hang out with us. Thanks guys.